So I got a copy of this book, Jeff. You, can you read that out? Oh, yeah. What, what is it? Uh, uh, no, you, you read, it? read it out, can Jeff. Go on, it? read it out. Can you hold it a little higher for me? I, yeah, sure, there. Yeah, no, I still can't make it out. No. All right. Can, can you see now? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking. Uh, my eyes are real bad, man. <laughs> No, look yeah. again, look again. Yeah, no, I'm trying yeah, to see yeah, it, yeah. No, 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 I'm no. Looking, I really can't see. All right, uh, it's called The Snow Queen. Uh, and yeah. it's a novel by Michael Cunningham. And it, now, what's interesting about this is, is an advanced reader's copy, right? Which I think it means that the publisher thinks I'm really good at reading. <laughs> well, he's an advanced reader, so we can put in big words like, hmm, let's see, reconnecting. Read some of this oh, out, yeah, would okay. you? Uh, dysentery. <laughs> anyway, I thought this would be a good book for me to read because uh, it's so hot right now. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig, you keep complaining about the heat and yet you stand next to a roaring fire all night. <laughs> well, that's, that's because you have an unusually cold testicle. I do. Uh, it's, uh, there's very little blood flow to uh, one of my testicles, and the other one's in New York. Right. <laughs> yeah, your, your other testicle named Regis. <laughs> there could be more than one Regis. What the hell? Man? Or, or maybe there can't. Maybe it's like the Highlander. There could be only one. Yeah, yeah. There could, that would be a great thing. They could remake The Highlander, except it's Regis. Right, yeah, Regis and, Philbin. Uh, uh, but it's Regis Philbin, and there can be only one. Oh, that's and they good, have yeah. to, they have to have a battle royale. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we should do that. Let's do that. What do you mean we should do no, that? No, I'll be, I'll be Regis. Right. And you'll be uh, Sean Connery. You'll be the, the Spanish guy. Oh, right, I'll be, the, the yeah. <clears throat> I'll be the Spanish guy. The Spanish guy played by Sean Connery. Right, that's right. <laughs> all right, then. Right. All right, Ramirez. so you're, you're Ramirez. You're Ramirez. Ramirez, all right. Okay, got it. All right. Sure. There can be... Uh, do you have any piñatas or anything? <laughs> I'm really... Uh, I wouldn't mind a uh, cerveza. You know, you know, what is the deal with this guy? He's, he's uh, talking Spanish, but he's, he's Scottish. This is ridiculous. It's out of control. It's unbelievable. There can be only one. Sure. You, you're Regis, aren't you? I'm telling you, you gotta know there could be only one. I'm telling you, that's the truth. You know, I've noticed a little bit sometimes when you do Regis, you start uh, lapsing into Jay Leno a little bit. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Just saying. I don't, I don't... You know, there can be only one. You know, there can be only one. You know, that's not bad. <laughs> this is funny, this is funny, actually. You know, that you can be only one, that it's only one. There you go. Already, and the show has just begun, you've had Sean Connery, Regis, Jay Leno, Hello, yeah. and a testicle joke. <laughs> it's got to be a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I feel we're just going through the motions. Yeah, man. You think, yeah. You're like, hey, how about that thing that happened? And then there's that other thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny stuff, boss. Top shelf. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> What, you mean you don't always mean it when you say it's funny? And oh, no, you're the man. You're the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're saying I'm not the man? No, man. You've programmed me to love you. <laughs> You too. <laughs> Can't sleep, a little too hot for you. <laughs> Lying there in your nighty, tossing and turning. <laughs> you too, ladies. <laughs> Sorry, I always get this way August 5th. 
Oh, you know what it is today? Oh, what is it? It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Not, not a great day. Not a great day, though, for uh, a guy in Bosnia. Did you hear about this thing today? Yeah. yeah. This really happened today. There was a. <laughs> Doctors are treating a man in Bosnia for abdominal pains because they found a pair of scissors in his stomach. I know! That's what the doctor said when they looked at the x-ray. They were like, oh. This is worse than the patient, you know, you know, where they had with the rock, but better than the one they had with the paper. <laughs> yeah. A grocery store in Texas is in hot water for selling customers, and I'm not kidding, Uninspected beef penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get like, oh, oh, you get the same, oh, for scissors in your stomach or uninspected beef penis. Yeah. The yeah. same reaction. Beef penis is a real thing you can buy. I'm not making this up. I'm really not. It's called pizzle. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a thing. It, it, that's also, incidentally, what Snoop Dogg calls going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> pizzle, yeah. Well, you, you drink gin and juice, you're going to have to go to the bathroom, you got aren't a pizzle. you? Yeah, you got a pizzle. Anyway, un un selling uninspected beef penis is a travesty, but it also means, if you think about it, that there is out there someone has the job of beef penis inspector. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, well, I'm out of work in a few months. Perhaps that's where you're going to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me have a look at it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Seems fine to me. <laughs> Jeff, uh, let's pretend uh, I'm a beef penis inspector and you're a beef penis. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, no, this is fine. This is good. This all is right, good. this will work then. Uh, let me have a look at you. Yes, hello, uh, beef penis inspector. I'm a beef penis. <laughs> have a look. There you go. Seems fine to me. Turn your head and cough. <coughs> there you are. You're fine. On you go. Thank you. You know, it's a very... I, actually, I was watching television earlier tonight and I was very excited because we're live. And <laughs> earlier tonight, I was watching, uh, you know, on another network, because there is another one, uh, the CMA Music Festival, which, uh, you know, is... Uh, I don't know what it stands for. I think it's Crackers Milling About. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's the Country Music Association. The Country... <laughs> Well, then, I suppose that's what... Anyway, look, yeah, it's uh, right. the Country Music Association. It was the two hours of country music, big hats and big belt buckles. But I'm like, why do country music guys wear such big belt buckles? You should wear a tiny little belt buckle, and then everything around it looks bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. It's, it's the whole White Castle burger thing. You hold a White Castle there, and then you say it's a Whopper. <laughs> and then what do you say, Jeff? Right, that it's, yeah, Beef Penis Inspector. No, no! <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Are you even listening yeah, to Yeah, man, me? I'm right here. I'm right here, man. I'm right it's, here. It's so hot today, I know. I feel I know, the same. I know. That's uh, the thing. That's the thing. No, the CMA's music festival is country's biggest night, if you don't count the uh, Country Music Awards, the Academy of Country Music Awards, the CMT Music Awards, and the American Country Awards. <laughs> Anyway, tonight's uh, festival was held in Nashville, which is a coincidence, because I was held in Nashville once. <laughs> Call me Keith Urban. <laughs> he's, the one, he's the one from Australia, isn't he? That's Keith right, Urban. yeah, that's right. See, I have a difficult time imagining country music, you know, from Australia, you know. Lost my trunk, uh, dingo wet my babies. <laughs> <laughs> my boomerang's broke, Russell Crowe has rabies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the outback, scratching my sweaty back. <laughs> Kangaroo, where are you? Kangaroo, where are you? <laughs> this is what we're. That's Australian country music. Yeah. That's it. Beef. Kangaroo, where are, where are you? Something about koala bear or something. Throw that. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah you're good. Oh, Keith Urban is married to Nicole Kidman, and she was very excited about tonight's festival. She was like, <laughs> I can't do it properly because I keep blinking. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, you do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Well, there you are. There's another topical yeah. monologue. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. You're top the man. shelf. Top shelf. Way to go, boy. Way to go. Yeah. You're knocking them dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're watching The Late Late Show, where CMA stands for Craig's Minty Armpits. <laughs> I mean, it is so hot. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from beef penis inspector genital Craig Ferguson. <laughs> Which I is the thing with all the grease. You and your friends stay in touch, but never leave. So now the cam has come to check. And your email partner, Asmo. And your email. Email time again. All right, this is from Diane in Columbus, Ohio. You ever been there? The best of the Ohio's Columbus. <laughs> no, Columbus is in Ohio. I know, but there's, you know, there's Cincinnati, there's Cleveland, but boy, that's the one, Columbus. <laughs> All right, well, this is from Diane. Do you know Diane? Sure do. Good friends. We uh, play bridge together. Uh, Diane says, Craig, I have so many questions for the Queen. Do you think she will ever go on Reddit? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that fixed. Gotta get that fixed. Hello? Hello, Craig. It is the Queen Mother. Hello, the Queen, Your Majesty. <laughs> The Queen, how, how are you? How, how you can are stop you? Stop bowing now, please stop bowing for me. You mean you can see me? Yes, I can see everything. I'm all knowing I am the Queen. <laughs> so, is that what makes you the Queen? You can, like, you're, you, you have special magic powers? Yes, I'm all power. I can fly through the air. I can levitate, all kinds of things. <laughs> How did you get your magic powers? Were you bit uh, in a laboratory by a radioactive queen? Yes. Yes, there was a radioactive queen that bit me. I won't say how. It was a party. We were having a nice time. And here I am, bestowed with powers beyond your imagination. <laughs> I like the bit at the end when you go, ooh, I to prove know. your point. I think that's really good, uh, your Lady Majesty. Oh, well, it's about time you've enjoyed something I've done in the last week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting a bit touchy, uh, your Lady Majesty, the oh, Queen. Oh, don't tempt me. Ooh, what the hell's going on over there, man? Uh, nothing, man. The, it's queen's just the Queen seems you to be trouble. a bit touchy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'll let you get back to it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Your Majesty. Uh, I, um, I had a question from a viewer. <clears throat> oh, oh, you must clear your throat. Do you need a lozenge? <laughs> a lozenge? A lozenge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with what a lozenge is. As you wouldn't understand, you're Scottish. That's all right. <laughs> so what is your question from you? <laughs> <laughs> My question was, uh, will you ever go on Reddit? What in the hell is the Reddit? <laughs> yeah, I was rather hoping you'd know, actually. Uh, I believe it's a website where uh, prepubescent boys can ask questions. <laughs> 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 Well, I got a fright there because I thought the Queen was actually the Jay Leno fly. The Jay Leno fly? <laughs> yeah. yeah this, this is funny. This is funny. Yeah, you know what they're doing? It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll be back in uh, seven months. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, boy. Sometimes I think I should just sit here, uh, take the phone off the hook, and just let it all happen. Hey, what the hell, man? <laughs> hello? 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 Hang, hang up the phone, Craig. I'm trying to make a call. 
Okay, sorry. <laughs> Who is this? It's Derek. Sorry, Derek. It's Derek in accounting. I'm trying to make a call. <clears throat> okay. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. How's, how's the show going, by the way? It's okay. We're, we're still on budget. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make sure of that. Thanks, then, Derek. Okay, take care. <laughs> Sounds like you might need a lozenge. I, I, never, uh, I never use lozenges. I only use lozenges. Click. Did you just say click when I hung up the phone? Yeah, I, I hung up the phone. I'm not here. That was me. Click. Wow, Derek. <laughs> this is from April in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who says, Craig, can you explain the correct pronunciation of Glasgow, please, since everyone makes fun of me when I try to do it with, in your accent? Well, I'm from the town in Glasgow in Scotland, and it's pronounced Glasgow. <laughs> I got on my mind, man. Man. What the hell? That's uh, that's racist. That's racist. That is racism. racist. Did you did you send that in? Did you send that in? Yeah, you pretended to be that, but you sent it in. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Not quite sure why the audience applauded, but good. <laughs> This is from Pavlina in Prague in the Czech Republic. Woo! Oh. I didn't know CBS had an affiliate in the Czech Republic. They don't? Do you mean that Pavlina is downloading this illegally on the internet? Why, you must never do that, Pavlina. I don't give a... Uh-oh. <laughs> no, you, you, really, you really mustn't ever do that. Anyway, uh, Pavlina says, Craig, how come you have been to Russia, but you never came to visit the Czech Republic? Is it because Czech is difficult? <laughs> I've been to a lot of places. I mean, I haven't been to a lot of places. Yeah. And it's not because it's difficult. <laughs> All right, it is. I haven't been to the Czech Republic because it's too difficult to, to what? To walk around there. It's very difficult. <laughs> you need special boots. You're a racist, man. No, man, you're a racist. Yeah, you are. You are a racist. You're a racist! Uh, I'm from Glasgow. What the hell? Man? <laughs> Glasgow? Who the hell says it like that? Come on, man. All right, then. How, how do you say Glasgow? It's glass cow. Give me a break. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Glass cow? Your whole life is a, your whole life is a lie, man. <laughs> glass cow? <Yeah. laughs> how dare you? Why I should call Her Majesty the Queen and report you? Why don't you do that? I might! All right. <laughs> Hang on. Hello? Hello, Craig. It's the Queen. Hello, Your Majesty the Queen. Listen, I'd like to report a robot skeleton saying glass cow instead of glass go. Oh, that is terribly racist. <laughs> That's what I thought. You sound a little throaty. Do you need a lozenge? <laughs> You are a racist. I'm a racist? How dare you? How dare you, Your Majesty? You are now an enemy of the Queen, I declare it. <laughs> <laughs> and I assure you, it will be quite difficult to visit. <laughs> <laughs> an enemy of the Queen? That's right. How the hell did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> I only offered you a lozenge. Oh. Craig, hang up the phone. It's Derek. Oh, sorry, Derek. <laughs> uh, they called me. I'm not paying for the call. I'm trying to make a call, man. I'll, I'll oh, make sorry. note of it. I got it. Uh, all right. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> Click. We were right back, yeah. everybody. We were right.
guest. My next guest is one of the most beautiful women in the world. She's not a ghost. It's like she just said she's one of the most beautiful women in the world, and they went, woo! She's a very, very talented actress. Her show, The Bridge, airs Wednesdays on FX. Please welcome the great Diane Kruger, everybody. Diane. <laughs> Oh, what, your microphone? Can I, where does it go? Does oh, it just... Deep down. Does it, does it go all the way down? Down. Deeper. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I'm sorry. I just, um... I kind of... Oh, uh, there have, you are. Have you done this before? That, uh, is that all right? I, I've done it before, but never... <laughs> never that deep. Yeah, no, it was fine. Uh, it was... It, everything's great back there, by the way. Well done. <laughs> Are you doing a lot of back exercises? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's... They're great. You yeah. should keep doing them right now. <laughs> you look sensational. A very uh, um, virginal and summery. <laughs> wow. You know, I was in therapy with you last time here, but this might send me right back there, man. Well, I don't know. <laughs> therapy isn't a one-time thing, you know, Diane. <laughs> How are you? Are you all right? Relax. Hi, uh, I'm good. Great yeah. shoes. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, very good. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. I'm not going anywhere. Well, oh, you mean not doing this show anymore? Yeah, where am I, where am I gonna get therapy? <laughs> hey, you come around to my house. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come around to my house, uh, I'll open up a little office above the garage. <laughs> really? You come up and I'll help you out. <laughs> Are you in actual therapy? Like real proper grown up therapy? I have been. Yeah, I, I, I. Then I met you and I feel much better. <laughs> well, my therapy gets results. I agree. Yeah. I, I agree. Do I you said think that you... to Josh, too. Yeah. Does Josh in therapy? Uh, he should be. <laughs> Did you guys have a row or something before you came out? I know that August is sometimes a, di a difficult month for... <laughs> for... For couples? For, yeah, for couples that are really? half German. You know. Because... You're, you're German and Josh isn't. Oh, oh unless... is, that, is that right? Well, I don't know, unless Josh is secretly German. Oh, he must be. Oh, you think so? Yeah. He likes Does he go to Germany with you? He does sometimes, yeah. He doesn't speak German, so it's hard for him. Or he likes it because he doesn't have to talk to my mother. <laughs> Your mother doesn't speak English? Very little, yeah. very little, so. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What about your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law? Mother no, my mother-in-law lives in Vermont. Oh, <laughs> what's that like? It's different to Germany in many ways. And you have to talk to her. Cause yeah, I do have to talk to her because she mumbles away in English at me. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, so listen, um, good for you then, being German. And <laughs> also, uh, the second season of The Bridge? Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's the... That's the, that's that's the, the moolah? Yeah, that's the money. He get really beat up, you know. I spent a lot of time in the in the desert, or I have spent a lot of time in the desert this year. Yeah, it's uh, it gets hot. It's as hot as LA is now I know. in August. It is, yeah. uh, <laughs> do you do you like the desert? Do you enjoy it? Um, I, you know, it, it has its ups and downs. You know, you're alone often, which I like at really? times. Are you a very solitary creature? I can be. Mm. I quite like that idea of you wandering across the desert in your white dress. <laughs> No, that's a in your dream. Image. That's in your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, right. that's, that's it's all right. right. A man can dream, can't he? <laughs> you can join me. <laughs> no, that's that's not. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's too hot for me. I don't do well. I have I very know. pale skin in the desert. I get. <laughs> well, same, I know. I was going to say. We could share sunscreen. I'm, I'm like, I need at least 150. I, that's what I'm doing. Really? Yeah. You get slathered um, in it? Oh, the spray, it's really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You use that. And then a hat. Hats. And uh, a moo moo. <laughs> in white. Yeah, yeah. So it's still kind so of. So I'm like, oh! <laughs> nice and white satin! <laughs> What part of Germany are you from? Have from 
I think you talked about this from Hanover. Oh, that's in the north. It is in the north. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've been there and it's very nice, but I, I was shocked at how lovely Bavaria was when I was there. Have you ever been down there? Uh, twice. It's really nice. It is. It's yeah. great, isn't yeah, yeah. it? People it's... from the north don't really like the people from the south. Oh, that happens, happens everywhere. everywhere right? Every yeah. country's like that. I know. You know north and, uh, have Americans always got on the north? And... Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. No, no. No, that's... See, no, that's the thing, you know, people just, you know, they, they always get angry at whoever's nearby, Germans and the French. Well, Germans, Germans just get angry with anyone. Well, <laughs> let's be honest. See, this is the thing about, it's a stereotype, which I'll happily exploit for comedic reasons, but Germans <laughs> tend to be, in my experience, rather kind of fun-loving people. That's, that's the kind of, the weird quirk on the stereotype. I feel like they have a twisted sense of humor, you know, it's not accessible to everybody. It's very right. yes. cynical well. and dark. For yeah, obvious I, reasons. I don't mind that. If you're accessible to everybody, then you're one of them. And who wants to be one of everybody? Well, most people, I think. That's the thing. <laughs> See, I think I the know. thing is, like, if you are an individual and you do your individual art, it's kind of like, well, I think what we do here, we make stinky cheese here. Uh -huh. Not everybody likes stinky cheese. But those How do you like, end up eating it? Yeah, but you go, there's nothing else in the refrigerator, <laughs> I'll, I'll eat the stinky, stinky cheese. cheese. Yeah. There you go. Maybe that's my problem. Do you Wanted eat? to be too, what, stinky cheese? Yeah, do you like stinky cheese? I do. From Fr like, I live part time in France, and, the, and it's really stinky. Oh man, they make stinky cheese. Oh, but they eat yeah. some really smelly things. Like I got served, I we can only describe as a, a plate of crap. <laughs> what 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 was it? It was some kind of um, intestinal sausage. Oh. Yeah, the uh, blood sausage thingy. Uh, I think it was noir? worse than that. I think it was you know actually just a poo. Why'd you order it? <laughs> Well, I got lost in translation. I thought I was ordering a sausage, and then it came out, and it was... It was poo? And it, I think it was... Poo-poo, je veux bien le poo-poo. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. You speak very good French, don't you? Oh, yeah. Titi caca. Titi caca is right, my girl. I know all the good words. Yeah, have, you been, have you been to Lake Titi caca? <laughs> it's too many times. <laughs> oh, yeah, but what a vision that would be. Oh. Uh, you in your white dress and Lake Titicaca. <laughs> nice and white satin. <laughs> it would oh, depend man. on the consistency, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No. So where are you traveling to? Are you traveling around? You travel around. I'm going to go to New Zealand. Like, Ooh, in, not, not in August. I mean, not now, but like in, <laughs> in, um, in, in December. December? Well, that's their summer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'll be fine. You know, it's I tropical guess. down there in December. I guess. I know that's Hobbit country, though. Yeah, yeah. Careful, they'll come out and. We're gonna go glamping. I'm gonna. I, What's glamping? I, you know, it's like glamorous camping. Oh right, right. <laughs> so just like staying in a hotel. That would be too easy. You don't no. know my partner. He's he. It needs to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Some of them you just let roll by. I, I yeah. walked into that one. Yeah, yeah, no, you're all right. So, I mean, what, Josh likes it to be uh, difficult, you know, out there camping? <laughs> well, he, you know, yeah, he feels like we should sleep on the ground and... Why? I've never understood that. I don't get it either. It's, it's crazy a... to me. Can you, know, you talk like... to him? Like, seriously? Yeah, yeah, bring him on. <sighs> Is he here? No. Oh, well, okay. No, but, um, yeah, no, so we're going to do that, rent a car, drive for two weeks, and sleep in... Well, wait, 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 if you've got a car, sleep in the car. <laughs> no, we tried that when we were in Australia, and that wasn't fun. I couldn't sleep. I was so scared. Well, you're going to be more scared outside. There's critters out there, and ho hobbits, and that, and there's elves, and all sorts of... <laughs> I'm hoping Yeah, so. yeah, the, the, so, so, the mouth of sword, and all that stuff is going to be... There's, in fairness, there's a tunnel where you can, you, 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 you climb down... Yes. Like 100 meters, I don't know how many yards that would be. It's and there's glowworms. Glowworms? Yes. Well, that, that'd be worth it then, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. In a cave? And you just... Oh, a cave with worms that illuminate themselves? <laughs> <laughs> You're not romantic, are you? Nah. I'm kind of romantic, but for me, romance is kind of like, oh, look, there's a cafe. <laughs> Let's go and get something nice to eat. Well, no I, I, no I, plates of sausage poo. Something good. Wow. <laughs> I need to have a word with your wife. Well, no, my, my wife is, uh, I, I think, with me on this. Really? Yes. I mean, but then again, uh, maybe no. I don't know. <laughs>
That's easy. What is? A cheap date. Well, my wife? Well. You have no idea. <laughs> anyway, we have to take a commercial break because my wife is such a cheap date, apparently. <laughs> we'll be right back. From, uh, that was from the bridge. The, uh, the show about uh, it's about a bridge. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's about Juarez, uh, Mexico, and nah, El Paso and the border. Yeah, it's problems. tough there. Can be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we shoot in all the glamorous places of Los Angeles. <laughs> it's not Hollywood Boulevard. Where would that be? <laughs> Hey, listen about New Zealand. Michael went to New Zealand. You went to New Zealand, didn't you, Michael? He stayed in a, in a lighthouse. He had a lovely time. That is time. so cool. Yeah. I'd love to get the address. And he, he dressed up as a lighthouse keeper, didn't you, Michael? <laughs> wow. He had a little hat on, and he kept people who weren't like him away because he's a racist, actually, Diane. I don't know if you knew. No, I knew that. Yeah, oh, you he did? You told me that last Yeah, word of your racism has reached Germany, dude! Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you've become a racist now, too. No, I'm not a racist. I just made fun of Her Majesty the Queen once by accident. That's why you you're in America. Met the queen? You, you ever I, I have met the Queen. I would have thought, yeah, yes. a glamorous movie she star. She had no idea who I was, and her handler was like, sh you know, behind her, and he was like, A handler? Well, you know, who's Did, like. Could, could she attack? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she probably could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be attacked Ooh, by the Queen. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> well, she's very little. So she's small? You, you know those little uh, dogs? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She loves those little... She got her powers from being bitten by a radioactive queen. <laughs> okay. So where did you meet her? A, a movie premiere or something? No, I met her at, uh, in London. At in a, a Starbucks? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was getting a latte. I was getting a chai tea. And we <laughs> just had a little chat. It was great. Oh, have a latte, please. <laughs> What's the name on that, dear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the queen. <laughs> the queen. That's racist. Don't call me a queen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good times. Um, no, how did you meet the queen? I'm interested. Um, um, at a, at a, 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 a polo match. What? I you was, must uh, have more money than you know what to do with. Polo? Apparently. Is that, is that the one where you, like, you get on horses, you get off horses? Well, I wasn't on a horse. I, ah. was, I was there to, to see it, and, um, and I guess I was invited to go see it. I'd never been. I was is it, is it good? I... Oh, it gets a bit boring. It raining? Boring. It oh, gets boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's hard to follow. Yeah, it's horses running up and down. I mean, uh, mm. well, well. Do you like uh, You like polo? No. No, no, no. No, no it's, it's kind of a rough game, I think. It, it, yeah, it, it seems <coughs> like it would be really hard. Yeah, I think it's like how posh people beat themselves up. <laughs> mm. Anyway, we're out of time. No, what? They go so quickly. You're not the first woman that said that to me. <laughs> If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at llstickets.com. in the world! <laughs> He's a... Uh, yeah, comedians hate when you introduce do, them like that. Like, oh, no pressure, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> But he's very funny. He's a regular at Stand Up New York, which is... Where is that, Jeff? That's in New York. Exactly so. <laughs> Please welcome Brad Trackman, everybody. Brad Trackman. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you. It's great to be here in LA. I love it here. There are beautiful women everywhere. And you ladies always hang out together, don't you? You hang out, but you usually have that one friend. You know what I'm talking about, too. That one friend that's not up to par. 
My friends and I, we call this girl the other girl. I always get the other girl. Then it dawned on me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm the other guy. I'm uh, actually married and uh, nine years next week, everybody, nine years. Thank you, thank you, yeah, yeah. I deserve that, thank you. My wife has issues. Lately, she's been having trust issues. It's what she says in her journal. She gossips. Women love to talk. My wife cannot shut up. She's like, hey, did you hear about Joe and Lisa? Yeah, I told you. And I told you not to tell anybody. I asked her to scratch my back. I don't think that's a big deal. I give her a little direction. Hey, baby, to the left, down, over. She scratches every single part of my back except the part that itches. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Now you know how I feel when we have sex. I was like, fine, I'll scratch my own back. She does hypotheticals. I hate the hypothetical. Okay, okay, let's just say that I die. Would you remarry? Yes. Remember last week when you had the sniffles? I joined three online dating sites. No, I'm serious, I'm serious. I really die, I go to heaven, and you do remarry, and you'd love this woman, you'd love her. You'd love her just as much as you love me, then she dies and goes to heaven. Then you die and go to heaven, and we're all in heaven. <laughs> Who would you spend eternity with? <laughs> Neither, it's called heaven. <laughs> I always... <laughs> I always wonder what attracts one person to another person. I read an article that had the top 10 likes and dislikes of women. Number one like, ladies, was intelligence. Come on. I've never heard a woman say, ah, oh, ooh, read me a word problem. <laughs> Come on, I want you to treat me like an illiterate. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Number one dislike was short, guys. This is true. You never hear a woman, yeah, I like a man that fits on my lap. I find it sexy when a guy sits on a bus and his feet can't touch the ground. They just kick, they dangle, it's sexy. I'm short, everybody, I'm 5'7". You guys remember class photos? I was always the kid in the front row holding the sign Indian style, remember this dude? And I gotta tell you guys, I'm a left-hander and that sucked being a left-hander. Remember the green scissors? I need the green scissors! Me, Brad, if they didn't have green scissors, we had to use regular scissors upside down. I need some help over here. This is impossible, this is not cutting. Do you remember the eraser made pen? Forget about it. iPads, flat screen TVs, a pen that erased. It blew your mind. But not if you're left-handed. I would write and erase it with my own hand. <laughs> Teacher's like, where's your work? You're not gonna believe this. My hand ate my homework. For real. So I'm a father, everybody. I have a beautiful son, and I gotta tell you guys, I knew I was in trouble the second we had him. They clean him up, they put him in my wife's arms, and this is just to give everybody here a perspective of how crazy my wife is. A Couple minutes go by, out of nowhere, she just looks at me real serious, she's like, would you die for him? I just met him. I don't even know this guy. Then, of course, they asked me to cut the umbilical cord. I'm like, I need the green scissors! Thank you guys so very much. Thank you. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you so much. Brad Dreikman, everybody. Brad Dreikman.